Okay, so I'm back one more time um, to kind of go through um, some of the things they don't tell you. Um, my mom is one of the people who told me that she thinks that I should do this, uh, make some videos about my pregnancy, and just so I can kind of remember this time um, later on in life. Um, number one, um, for a long time of my life, pretty much most of my life, maybe until like last year, the year before, um, I really didn't want kids. Um, it, it was just a personal thing. It wasn't, you know, um, really anything negative. I'm just not a children's person. Um, what that really means is I'm not a fan of other people's children. Um, so I didn't think that I wanted any of my own. And it, I didn't think it was a bad thing. And I still don't think it's a bad thing. If people don't want kids, you don't have to have children. Please don't think that that's how that works. But at the end of the day, um... You know, I don't live in this world by myself. Um, you know, I do have a husband and, you know, we have to talk and we have to be in agreement with certain things. And he knew for a long time that I didn't want kids. It's not nothing new to him either. Um, but the longer and further along we got in our relationship, you know, we had to make some decisions and we had to talk about some things. And so, you know, the ultimate decision was that, you know, we would try and that... If, you know, this time did actually happen, that, you know, we did get pregnant, then we would definitely um, make the necessary adjustments in our life and whatever we have to do, of course, to take care of another human being because that's what we would be, that's what um, decision would have been made. So that is what we did. And so, um, you know, it, it kind of came as a shock to a lot of my family because they knew for a long time that I did not want children. So it's exciting. It's It's like... I don't know. It's 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 just this whole new experience that I don't know anything about. So it's very very strange. But um with that, um a lot of things that maybe people read or see, you know, is the the um nice side or the pretty side of pregnancy. Um I so have not seen that yet. So I'm hoping as I get further along in my pregnancy that I'll be able to see that side of things. But um this um, section of my videos are going to be, these videos, I'm sorry, are going to basically be the real deal. Like, I am going to tell you the real deal. Um, like I said in my last video, I was sick for the entire three months. And I still get kind of sick and nauseous um, right now, but um, there's certain foods you can't eat, there's certain smells you can't be around. Um, I, I don't know what other people know about pregnancy, but I didn't know very much at all. When I say at all, I mean at all. Like, I knew nothing. There was no reason for me to, to be interested in it because I wasn't planning on it. So, I had no interest in finding out. So, now that I'm in it, it's like, oh my god, now I have to find out what's going on with me. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? So, basically, that's how I felt the whole trimester, my whole first trimester, what's wrong with me? Because I felt like everything that was happening to me was not normal. So, um, first of all, like I said, your hair changes. And when I say it changes, it changes dramatically. It's not a little change. It's not a small change. It's basically... Um, my hair went from being super moisturized, I would condition my hair all the time, to it just being super dry. And I'd be like, okay, um, I did the same treatment, you know, a couple months ago and it was perfect. What is going on? So, hair changes, skin changes. I mean, like, I would literally walk, I would literally get out the shower, put lotion on, you know, put my shea butter and everything, good to go. I'd go outside by the time I get to work, maybe an hour. I would, like, lift up my pant leg, and my whole leg was dry. Like, dry as if I just got up out the shower and just went to work. Like, I didn't even put any moisture on. It was ridiculous, and I couldn't understand it. And I would try to reapply more shea butter, apply more coconut oil, like, uh, all this kind of craziness. And nothing was helping, and I was like, this is just, I don't know what to do. My skin was starting to become so dry that it was peeling. Um, on my arms, my forearm, on my legs. I mean, just, I mean, I was just peeling. I was like, this is ridiculous. I've never been this dry in my life. Um, I drink water all the time anyway, but I began to drink even more water, and it was to the point where I was feeling super bloated all the time. I just felt like I had a ton of water weight on me because I was just continuously drinking water, which is a great thing, but not when you're feeling bloated already. Um... Another thing, like your sense of smell is ridiculous. It is ungodly how 
great I can smell right now. It's ridiculous. I can smell somebody coming from far away. Um, I bought my husband this cologne, like, probably last Christmas. Not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before. The smell is amazing. It's, I think it's from Armani. I don't remember right now, but I believe it's from Armani. The smell is fabulous. Once I became pregnant, it smelled like garbage. I don't know what happened. I, it, it just stinks. So now, he can't even put it on in the house when I'm near him. Like, he has to put it on outside and then just go. And then I can't go outside until I know the smell has passed. It's ridiculous. It's craziness. He bought me perfume for Christmas, this past Christmas. And I haven't even worn it because... I'm scared that, like, I'm not going to like it. And I love the smell of the perfume, so I don't want a chance not liking it anymore. Um, what else? Um, not to get super graphic, but, you know, as you know, your whole body is growing when you're producing or when you're um, pregnant. So you have a, you know, a human being inside of you, living off of you. Um, basically, everything grows. So, you know, your breasts grow. They're super sensitive, like to the point where I couldn't give people hugs. I had to do the side hug thing, and I'm not a fan of that at all. But I just, I couldn't have anybody near my chest. It just hurts so bad. I've never been, um, I've always been a fairly busty girl, so I've always had breasts. But now, they are huge, like ridiculously huge. I was always between a size four, a, well, between a size two through six. So I know that's a huge range, but I've always been fairly small, put it like that. Um, I've always been a fairly small girl, so to have humongous um, breasts is like not really a great thing because now my back hurts all the time, which it wasn't really feeling great before, but now it hurts even more. Um, your nipples are super sensitive, like all the time. Um, you feel like you're on high alert, like every minute of the day, like I don't know what's going on here. Um... The further along I got into my first trimester, closer to the second, um, very strange. My nipples started peeling. It's just, things that girls go through is just crazy to me. But anyway, um, yeah, they started peeling. Um, and like, I'm a picker. I know that sounds really, really gross, but I am. I'm a picker. So I'm like trying to like peel the skin off. Like, why is this here? Please come off. Please come off. And then I picked some of the skin off and it started burning like hell so yeah smart but you know so um yeah that happens um when your breasts grow I mean I guess with any other part of your body they start to itch so like just right around um like where your um if you wear underwire bras like right around that area there they just start to itch for me so it's like, oh my god, this is so annoying. Now I also um, teach Zumba. Um, I actually taught before I got pregnant, but I teach now especially. And um, even with being pregnant, um, I've always had to wear more than one bra when I worked out. But now I have to wear three bras. Like, who does that? I have to wear two sports bras and a standard bra. And I also have to clip the back to be able to like match with my bra so those little bra hook things or whatever yeah so I have to wear three bras just to teach my class and it's so uncomfortable if I forget one of them if I only wear one bra oh please I can't even do one movement because it's ridiculous like yesterday I tried to be a brave soul and just wear a sports bra to work and I was so uncomfortable I was so in pain it's not cute at all so these are just a couple of the things that I deal with um, on a daily basis as it comes to um, just being pregnant and, and going through this and going through that, whatever, whatever. Um, I've always been, um, like I said, I've always been somebody to drink a lot of water. So I always had to go to the bathroom because, you know, you drink a lot of water, you got to pee. So, but now, I mean, I'm drinking a ridiculous amount of water. So I feel like I have to pee every five minutes. And when I'm at work, people look at me crazy. They're like, you have to go again? And I'm like, yes, again. I have to go again. So, um, it's just, you know, you definitely do want to increase your water intake anyway because it's good for you no matter what stage of life that you're in. But right now, I just, I'm thirsty all the time because I feel so dry. Um, now that I'm in my second trimester, my skin has gotten a little bit better um, but still, there's still times where it's kind of dry. Um, the parts that I notice that are still super dry are my legs. 
and then my feet are getting dry which I cannot take anymore it's just ridiculous so I do still go get my feet done twice um, a month because it just feels so good it just feels so so good <laughs> and um also, your, like I said, your body changes. So you go up in size, you go down, you know, whatever, whatever. In my first trimester, I was pretty much consistent. I didn't gain any weight at all. I was still the same size. My second trimester, now that I'm in that, um, I feel like I have a, a belly. Um, people that know me and know my size, they don't see anything, but I see it and it's bothering me. So, um, of course, it's good weight to put on, but still, it's still weight and I don't want to put it on. So, um... It's kind of unfortunate because I teach Zumba, like I said. I teach, you know, workout classes, and I am gaining weight. So it's kind of weird because my um, the people that take my class don't know yet. So as I get further along, of course, I'll let them know. But as of right now, um, only really my close friends and family know about my pregnancy, and that's pretty much how I want to keep it. Like, people at work don't really know. Um... And outside of that, nobody knows. Like I said, I'm not really showing, and I don't wear clothes to, like, emphasize anything. So, you know, it's fine. But other than that, um, it's, it's a very interesting process. But, you know, I'm here to talk to ladies about, you know, the real deal about the pregnancies. Because this is things that people don't talk about. So, it's, um... It's a different experience and one that I'm excited to continue this journey. Um, but it's also um, a trying time as well because it's it's very, very different for me anything that I've ever gone through in my entire life. So I'm very excited to share that with you guys. And I hope that you continue to watch and follow along with me as we go through this 10-month progression. It is not 9 months. I don't know who told you guys that lie. It is 10 months. It's 40 weeks. That's a full-term pregnancy. So stay tuned for more videos to come. Thanks again for watching.